Okay, I'm going to show you around the web portal a little bit. So here you can see the main page. Um, at the very top, you can see chart, and um, we have access to this part right here. Um, you can scroll through. These are all called widgets. Each different section is um, a different category, and you can actually change those around to however you want it to be set up. On the right-hand side is another part. You can click on anything that has a little icon and go ahead and scroll through those um, and view those as well. So this is the Behavioral Health Admission Assessment Part 1, your page three, your three page assessment. So as you can see, you can see all the answers that you or your, another coworker has actually filled out for this patient. Okay. If there is more than one, you could look at the history. We'll go back. You can look at all the, like I said, any thing that has that little icon next to it. So this was my case management note that I put in. And then we had some PTOT stuff put in as well. So these won't be as applicable to you, but you can see that they're there. So it just opens up into a separate window. And when you're done, you just hit back. And this goes for the same for any type of test that was done. So here we see the abdomen CT showing a bowel obstruction. And the same person had an abdomen ultrasound showing appendicitis and an x-ray showing constipation. <clears throat> you can click around and look at the different tabs that are there. If they have any labs, you can go through as well. Medications, some of these patients that we're doing the testing on don't have uh, previous admissions or uh, different medications. So some of these will be blank, but on typical patients, they should have most of this filled out. So I had done the medical history, surgical history, family history, and social history on this patient. I just kind of clicked a bunch of stuff. So you'll see all kinds of stuff pulling up here. So this gives you a good overall gist of what the patient's here for. You can see the account number on the side, the unit number on the top. And if you wanna change the widgets, you go to menu and widget preferences. So here you can see everything that I put underneath the widget template for ERCM. Um, but again, you can kind of change it around to whatever you want. So here I just typed in ER to see what pops up. And here we're gonna try orders snapshot. So I click on that. It pops up at the bottom there. You can move it around if you want it at the top, or you can move it down. You can move it to the right. And again, moving it up and moving it back down. If you want to move it back, you hit the arrow. If you want to change the label for it, you want to name it something else, you just edit and then type in whatever you need to name it. And this is just saved on your widget desktop.